everyone this is Iris and today I'm going to be showing you how I did this very beautiful faux hawk ponytail which can be worn to prom or any fancy events such as weddings etc so I am going to be wearing this look out and I wanted to take you guys with me here I am shopping around and rocking this beautiful pinupy type of dress of course I'm wearing these cute shoes which are brought to you by shoemint.com the member benefits include exclusive designs from Rachel and Nicole, effortless style, quality like no other, hard to find sizes from 5 to 11, you have a personalized showroom, insider trend reports, free shipping, up to 80% off retail, and no obligation to buy. Here's another look at the cute shoes that I'm wearing while I'm walking around shopping. They're very comfortable and also very beautiful and they definitely elongate your legs. So let's go ahead and get started with the hair first. What I started off doing is I applied a heat protectant. You can apply it directly to your hair or you can put it on your brush and smooth it through. People were asking me what this brush is and it is called the Tangle Teaser. You can look it up online. The next thing that I did is I sectioned my hair and the reason why I'm sectioning to start is because the curls are going to be applied differently for each section so I have my top section and then I have my middle section and the lines don't have to be perfect unless you really want them to be and I'll show you later on why so just clip the middle section out of the way and what we're going to do is we're going to start curling at the bottom. Now if you don't have enough hair, you can put hair extensions here at the bottom and then section your hair in half. So the bottom curls are going to be really tight and as close to the scalp as possible. Clip them, clip them, clip them, clip them in. You can also use hot rollers if you want, but I just like doing it this way. So these are really tight. These are at the bottom as close to the scalp as possible. Next I'm going to work on the middle section and these are going to be tight but they're not going to be as close to the scalp. Then I'm going to work on the top and here you can see I'm curling the ones at the very top very very tightly and then in the front section I'm going to measure out where my little pompadour is going to be and then I'm going to start curling somewhere at about the middle. So now I have all my curls in place. Let them cool for a little bit. These bottom ones are really tight and curly and then I'm going to go ahead and release it. Here you can see I am sectioning off the top part. You can either pin it or if you prefer you can tie it out of the way. I highly recommend that you tie it because it keeps it very nice and neat but I just clipped it. Next thing that I did is I sectioned off my middle section again and be very careful with your curls because if your hair doesn't hold a curl well they can fall out. So then I brushed this section very very nice and tight and I made a high ponytail making sure to um, use product where necessary to smooth it out. Here you can see me applying some hairspray and then making sure that it looks very very tight. This is the part that's going to stand out on the sides. So I have that little ponytail in the middle like so and now I'm just going to do the exact same thing with the bottom but I'm going to put this in a low ponytail. Then I'm taking sections from that middle ponytail and I'm using them to hide the lines that I was talking to you guys about earlier, the ones that are don't have to be perfect. So just taking little curls and then pinning them down, not only to hide the lines, but also to hide that bottom ponytail. And like I said, if your hair is not thick enough for this, you can also use extensions at the bottom. Now I'm gonna work on the top section and I'm going to take a little um, section like so and I'm going to back comb it you can lay it out like this as a ponytail, as a part of your ponytail, or you can roll it the way I decided to. And this is going to create that little bump that you're going to see later. So go ahead and pin that and make sure it's pretty secure. I put in about three to four bobby pins so that it felt nice and tight. And then you're going to section off another little section like so. Spray it with hairspray, back comb it, and put that over that little bump and then arrange the hair how you want it to fall. This is where you can get creative. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. I kind of um, put my hair a little more to my left, but you can make sure it's even on both sides. So here you can just see I'm pinning it down. And if you're curious about the nails, there's a link in the description box. So here is the pompadour part. And you're seeing me spray it with hairspray, back combing it, smoothing it out in the front. 
twisting it and then giving it a little push forward. I'll do it just a little bit one more time. It's got a little twist and then push it forward. And then at the top, you're going to pin your bobby pins downward as opposed to side to side. And you'll see me do that in a little bit. So just put the bobby pin and then pin it down so that you can only see the top of the bobby pin. You see? And that conceals it pretty well. It's not perfect, but it conceals it. And then here on the sides, you're just gonna arrange your hair and pin it as you like, and you're done. The hardest part is curling your hair. After that, the rest of it is pretty easy to do. So hopefully you guys will use this hairstyle. If not, I hope that you found some inspiration to create your own hairstyle. And now I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about the outfit that I'm wearing because I know some of you guys like to see the details. You can see here that it has this pretty print, these beautiful buttons, and it also comes with this little skinny belt. Very adorable. And then the little clutch that I'm holding, it matches my shoes, but it also has this floral detailing on it that I wanted to show you guys and obviously you guys already saw my cute shoes so just give you guys one more look at the pretty pretty dress and the entire outfit it's been a really long time since I've dressed up like this so I hope you guys enjoyed so now on to reading your comments congratulations to Gemma and chains on being first Congratulations to Jay Potter EMT for being second. And congratulations to Shmegiru for being the random comment winner. If you guys haven't seen my previous hair tutorial, go ahead and click on the link here and it will take you to that. It is a Dita Von Tees pinup inspired look. I hope that you guys are being inspired by my videos. Thank you guys for all of your support.